É isso. The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Before I hand over to the prosecution, avant de laisser la parole à l'accusation pour la présentation most relevant documents concerning, des documents uh, the substance of paragraph 4 of the memorandum of the TC uh, dated the 7th of January 2000. Du memorandum de la chambre de première instance uh, du 13, document E3223-3 the chamber wishes to advise parties and members of the public that the chamber is seized of the request by the defense team for Mr. Ian Sari requesting to put before the chamber 56 uh, documents de la defense in de the Sari uh, proceeding of the hearing of documents. The chamber documents does not know whether or not other parties other than the defense team for Mr. Insari has received the list of documents, the 56 documents, and the chamber wishes to advise the parties that the chamber will hear this document tomorrow afternoon because the chamber is of the opinion that parties be given times uh, to examine uh, these en documents effet, la and in addition the chamber wishes to grant leave uh, for chambre, other uh, parties uh, to object or have any observation concerning the 56 documents sought by the defense team for Mr. Ian Sari. Next, uh, the chamber wishes to wishes to hand over the floor uh, to the prosecution to identify the key documents pursuant to paragraph 4 of document E3, E223-3. Focusing on the military structure first. You may proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. President, and good afternoon, colleagues. First, I would like to present the relevance of document concerning military structure as well as uh, the uh, review of the uh, military a deployment by the leadership of Democratic Cambodia, and we would like to request uh, your permission, Mr. President, to have this document displayed on the screen. The President, you may proceed. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. The first uh, document concerns the role and structure of the military structure of the Democratic Cambodia following the 17th of April 1975. This document is the uh, revolutionary document, revolutionary flag, uh, dated August uh, 1975, document E3-5. Các chính sai tung bắt bọn ní, cứ chỉ cả bọc bom sai, nợ bắt bằng hai. This uh, publication published the uh, speeches of the 22nd of July 1975, which uh, in EON, in Khmer 00, 06, 33, and 24. English, 00, 40, 14, and 8, 
A. 88. French 00 53 89 63 63 It reads on the 22nd of July 1975 on the occasion of the ceremony of the Communist Party of Cambodia Center to establish the Revolutionary Army the comrade chairman of the high-level military committee of the party convened an important political conference of Citation. the Communist Party le 1975 a brief history of our revolutionary army. Three, the reasons for the great victory of our revolutionary army. And four, the new mission of our revolutionary army. On the second part of this document concerning the a uh, history loin, of the building of the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia, here and in Khmer, 00, 06, 33, and 28. English, 00, 40, 14, 91. French, 00, 53, 89. Six, six. It reads, Je cite, Our revolutionary army was born of the strategic political line of the Communist Parti Party of Cambodia, which states in one clause that, quote, the enemy uses violence. Les they violence. use acts of political and military cruelty as weapons to oppress, to kill, and to wreck and destroy the people. La Therefore, the party must lead the le people in the use of violence, violence, in the use of acts to repay in blood, whether politically or militarily. End quotes. This means that the party must use revolutionary violence and termes, must le assemble the people to use violence revolutionary violence to oppose the, the reactionaries and the oppressor classes and to oppose the colonialists and imperialists. On the third part of this document, uh, in my year and 00, English 00, 40, 1498 en anglais 00 40 41 93 7 3 2 74 This particular section mentioned the um, reason for the great victory of the revolutionary army and subsection 1 of this main section 3, it le reads. Premier sous-paragraphe de la section 3, lit comme suit. Et je cite. The party equipped uh, the uh, ideological lines of the parties and military would uh, understand it. So both the uh, regular army as well as militiamen uh, understood the uh, ideological training uh, from the party. In the last section, section four of the speech concerning uh, the two duties of revolution, uh, revolutionary armies entrusted by the party, one, uh, national defense, and two, building the nation, the nation building. 
the first mission concerning the uh, defense of the country by the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia. If you look at the relevant ERN in Khmer, 0006-33402-2. In English, 00401501. French, 00503897527276. The roles of the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia are as follows. <laughs> The main role of the the primary mission of the army is to defend the country. Why must the, the country be defended when our country has already been completely liberated? We have uh, already driven away and scattered all the imperialists. Nous avons déjà chassé les we have already liberated our country, but the war situation still rears because in the world, imperialism and colonialism both new and old still exist. They carry out all kinds of activities all the time to wreck and destroy the people, to wreck and destroy big countries, and to wreck and destroy the revolution. And then this uh, section continues. This is in terms of the external enemy. However, the external enemies contact the internal enemies, the feudalists and capitalists in their status as oppressor classes have already been attacked and overthrown. However, in being overthrown, will they entirely disappear and will they never return or what? This is the end of the extract of this. And then as for the next plan, they advise the Revolutionary Army as follows. That is why our military has to fulfill the obligation to defend the country and we must exercise at most revolutionary vigilance. We have to defense our uh, nation, uh, defending the entire country, defending the territory, both the interior and the borders, defending the territorial waters, defending the airspace. All this is the mission of the army, and it continues. It is the uh, defense uh, of Phnom Penh uh, smashing espionage uh, groups and smashing saboteurs that want to wreck and destroy our revolution. And we will continue to smash the defeated we'll enemy remnants. And as for the next document concerning the uh, examination of the uh, military document E3, uh, slash 214, entitled Statue of the Communist Party of Cambodia. Particularly on uh, Article 27 of this paragraph, it reads, The three categories of the party's uh, army has to Defends the country of all le pays situation, contre toutes les situations. and it also um, divides the uh, structure of the armies of the party et in different levels. Il y a et de and it army. also provides for the authority as well et as a responsibility of the party's leadership on, on the uh, military structure, and this was also uh, noted in the meeting of the standing Nous committees, committee with which the co-accused attended. Next, I am going to present a few more documents concerning the uh, situation of uh, military reporting to the party's leadership. 
And this issue was uh, brought to the attention of the leaders and it was uh, deliberated and adopted in the meeting. The first document I'm going to present is E3-182. This uh, document is the uh, minutes of the meeting of the uh, standing committee dated the 9th of October 1975. In this standing committee's meeting, particularly on page 6 and 7, it reads the standing committee uh, deliberated and decided on a number of military issues concerning the rearrangement of the general staff as well as the de new deployment of military personnel, both uh, Navy as well as infantry, as well as the uh, examination of the overall situation of the Army. Now, the next document is 3 slash 1150. This uh, document was dated the 11 of November 1975. This uh, document is the letter sent to Kamrat Ja, who is the uh, secretary of the North East Zone. In this letter, the Anka received the telegram from Kamrat Ja sent uh, on the 9th and 10th of November 1975. Anka responded to this telegram with, instruction, with specific instructions concerning the arrangement as well as the mobilization of forces in that region in order to be ready for combat against the enemy. And we can also see some examples in uh, paragraph 2.2 of the same document and point 6 of the uh, document which elaborated the conclusion of this uh, document Anka and it provides at the end uh, that voilà donc, uh, Anka have or so received a telegram on new people this morning and uh, they will report letter. Next document E3 slash 229. It is the minutes of the meeting of the standing committee on the 22nd of February 1976. The agendas of this meeting includes the national defense matters. This uh, meeting also recorded the attendance uh, of the participants, namely Comrade Secretary, Comrade Deputy Secretary Nguyen-Chir, Comrade Wan, Comrade Vern, Comrade Q, Comrade Twitch, Comrade Q Sampon, and Comrade Suvasi, and in this uh, minutes of the meeting, it uh, indicated that Sun Sen reported the uh, situation of the enemy in the eastern uh, zone, and he also reported the uh, military aid by the uh, Chinese as well as the transport of ammunition and the request for the uh, establishment of a military hospital. In these minutes of the meeting, it recorded uh, some of the decisions uh, made by the members of the standing committee. It also mentioned that uh, the uh, committee agreed uh, that we had to be ready at all times. When the enemy came, we had to attack them uh, swiftly. So these were some of the decisions uh, made uh, over there. And the standing committee also requests uh, that uh, they uh, locate a new place uh, for uh, the construction of a new airfield 
and a place for the construction of a military hospital proposed by the general staff. Next, I would like to present a document concerning the working procedure with uh, people down the lines of the military uh, structure particularly the structure from the uh, base up to the uh, center, document E3 uh, slash uh, 366. 386, rather. 386. Right. This document was sent from the uh, North East Zone, uh, sent to uh, brother one and Dune and archive. Adressé à Van, Dun et aux On the button line uh, of the telegram sent by Ja, it reads, if Anka agrees to it, un par we peuple. request par 89 side to advise 920 side to slow down the fighting for a Val. De ralentir les combats pendant un moment. Another document, E3-217, it is the minutes of the meeting of the Standing Committee, dated the 11th of March, 1976, concerning the overall situation of the borderline in the eastern part of the country, the ever presence of Nunchia, Ying Sari alias Van, and Kyu Sampon alias Han. In this particular meeting, Sun Sein alias Q reported the overall border situation in the eastern part of the country, namely Mandolkiri province, and the uh, communication with the Vietnam, Vietnamese counterpart. These minutes also recorded uh, the armed classes uh, between the uh, military of the Democratic Cambodia and the opposing forces of Vietnam, Vietnam along the eastern border of the country in Mandolkiri and Takao province. Uh, and he also raised the uh, military and political et measures uh, as proposed by the standing committee. The next document, document is E3-234. Five. This document summarizes the decision of the Standing Committee dated the 20th and 21st of April 1975. On the uh, third part of this document, page 4 and page 5, it recorded uh, the national defense matters decided by the Standing Committee following the three-day meeting. These decisions include the arrangement for the operation of the air Feel in Kampongchnang, as well as the um, appointment of staff members to the uh, general staff. And in, in point number four of the third section, it reads that uh, the, there was a request to reinforce the force, forces. The next document E3 slash 221 is the minutes of the meeting of the Standing Committee they did, uh, the 14th of May 1976. In that meeting, Nguyen Chia, Ying Sari alias Van, and Kyu Sampon alias Haim attended uh, the meeting. The meeting at that time discussed the negotiation with uh, Vietnam, and Comrade Ja reported the overall situation, and every participant uh, were invited to 
et offer their opinions. And at that time, there were discussions of the incident uh, of the, uh, the attack uh, on, the, uh, vo on the ship uh, donated by Chinese uh, to a democratic Kampuchea at that time. And then Ying Sari uh, also raised an opinion uh, in that particular meeting. He said uh, sooner or later the Vietnamese side would agree with the Brevier line. Next, I would like to refer to uh, the next document, E3-224. It is the minutes of the meeting of the Standing Committee dated the 30th of May 1976. The attendance of the meeting included Pol Pot, Pol Pot Nguyen Chien, Nguyen Chien. Von Vet, Von Vet, Sun Sen Elias Kiel, and Kiel Sampon Elias Ham. Ham, Ham ont participé. The à meeting discussed réunion. the tasks and duties that the armies needed to carry out in particular. It related to the agriculture and the production. In the first main part of the record, it notes the main duties of the revolutionary army and that they needed to defend the four battlefields and the coastal area defense and the territorial defense were mentioned in the two defense duties. It continues to read that the third battlefield is the intervention battle. That there should be one force to to take intervention in Phnom Penh, and the fourth battlefield is the security defense surrounding the leading apparatus of the party and of the state's uh, government. The meeting also continued to discuss and decided on the work assignment related to the agricultural production. To the northwest of Phnom Penh, to offer Camera Un, that is a sector 10, and the assignment of the task to the southwest of Phnom Penh, that is a mate, de Phnom Penh, secretary of sector 502, and Camera Pin of sector 703. Then the work assignment continues to Chung Aik area of a pin in sector 703, and the instructions were further given to Camera Pin to dig canal to link to Basak River. La rivière Bassac. I will also make another presentation regarding a document Ensuite, un autre identifying document the roles of the party in the military structure. Document D56-10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10
as the chief Sad leading the military of the army nommé chef des forces militaires and Nunchia was appointed Nunchia a été as nommé the protocol leader of the army chef politique de l'armée Sun Sen was also Sun appointed a été nommé as the army chief chef de l'armée the next document document is suivant. A3 E3 slash 290 It is an me, a media, international media report FBIF Rapport FBIS It was made in October 1972 on page 38 It includes the broadcast by the Pyongyang Radio de la on the biography radio of Pol Pot, which reads from 1970 to 1975 in his capacity as the head of the Army of the Center, he centre, conducted military negotiations. Il a conduit les négociations militaires. In addition to the party's affairs and en plus des the du parti. leading role against the Americans, Et de son and he was Américains. successful in gaining victory for the nation. La pour la nation. In January 1976, he was elected once again to take the position as the secretary of the party's center of the Communist Party of Kampuchi and the president and the head of the army in the 4th Congress. The next document is E3 document suivant. E3 slash 1714, which is an interview with a Cambodian refugee at the Khmer Thai border. It was conducted from February to March 1980. In particular, it was on the EAN in Khmer 00 and in English 00. 17-07-48 and in French 00-64-90-10-11 It includes the interviews On with the standing committee members of Kompong Sao. Avec un membre du comité permanent de Kompong It also provided detailed description on the taking control of Phnom Penh by the Khmer Rouge Force during 1974 and 1975. I'd like to make the following quote. Je vais citer. The offensive was under the control of the center's army and under Pol Pot and Nunchir. was in charge of setting up the battlefield. At the same time, the real composition of the military and the security part of the center and the standing committee du centre sous le contrôle du comité permanent stated by Yang Sari in his Cela previous interviews in particular in document E3 slash 94 it was an interview by Yang Sari on the 22nd of July 1981 in EAN in Khmer 00 Five seven eight eight nine five in English on Anglais zero 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 three four trente quatre two five vingt cinq zero one zero un two zero two et zero deux and in French zero 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 six zero two zero 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 vingt zero zero In his interview, Yingsari stated the following question. 
Je vais citer. Who was in charge of security? Qui était responsable And de la sécurité? Mr. Inzeri replied. Ici, Yang Sari répond comme the suit. Most senior leaders, and there were three or four of them, discussed the matter, and then they, they made a report to the standing committee. The next question is question the following. Who were those three or four leaders? Ou and Yingsari answered, Pol Pot, Pol Pot Nun Chia, Chia, Sao Pem, Sao Pem and Son Sen. Et Son Sen. Son Sen was in charge Sen of security. They relied on regional people on for reporting on security matters. In document E3-93, which is also an interview by Ying Sari conducted on the 28th of August 1996. In particular, on a Khmer E N zero zero two two four 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 three and in English zero 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 seven zero seven eight six one zero and in French, en français, zero 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 three four trente quatre seven three seven six soixante seize. In this interview, Yingsari replies that I am not the right hand man of Pol Pot. In fact, his right hand man is Nun Chia. And there was a committee which considered all questions about security. And that committee comprised of four people, namely Pol Pot, Nun Chia, Son Sen, and Son Sen's advisor, Yun Yat. My last uh, document to be presented is E3 slash 86. It is a communique by Ying Sari's group dated 8 September 1996. It entitled The Truth About the Dictatorship Regime of Pol Pot 1975. To 1975. Ian in Khmer is 00 22 In English, 00 08 15 And in French, 00 61 4094 It states the following The government was only a screen to hide Pol personal dictature firmly based on the secret security committee composed of Nun Chia head of the secret commission committee Sun Sen called Sen killed and Sun Sen's advisor, that is his wife, son John Yate, alias Ad. So, from 1975 to 1978, it was this gang of four, that is Pol Pot, Chia, Sun Sen, Sen, Sen and John Yat, who decided on all the killings and massacres. Et massacres I conclude my presentation of my documents and my colleague will continue to make his part of the presentation. President, thank you. You may proceed. Merci. Je vous en prie. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, uh, in my uh, presentation, of documents uh, which I will start today and continue tomorrow, uh, I will demain. focus primarily 
j'accorderai une place particulière aux documents d'époque qui ont survécu jusqu'à nos jours et qui émanaient de l'état-major et des divisions militaires de la RK rattachées au centre. Um, minutes y compris of meetings les between Son Sen and the division secretaries. Son Sen et les secrétaires de division. Reports from the divisions, les rapports uh, including des divisions, annotations y compris showing that these reports were forwarded que les by Son Sen to other communiqués par Son Sen leaders of the party. À d'autres dirigeants du parti. And instructions Ainsi or orders que les instructions that were conveyed by Son Sen to the divisions under the command of the center. The uh, documents uh, I will present show the frequent and detailed reporting by military divisions to the senior leaders in Phnom Penh. And the communication to the de RIK of orders, les party lines, par la and policies that were to be implemented by the military. And I will present uh, these documents Je in chronological order, par ordre chronologique. in order to allow the chamber to see Ainsi, how the general structure of reporting authority and the hierarchical chain of command largely remained constant throughout the regime, uh, yet at the same time to see how policies and issues that were the subject of these communications evolved over time. And the first document I would like to present is from the months ensuing after the capture of Phnom Penh on the 17th of April 1975. It is document E3 slash 832, that's E3 slash 832, and it is a, a 4 June 1975 order un conveyed du 4 by Comrade Pim, émanant du camarade who was the Kim, commander of Division 703, division 703 uh, a center division that originated in the special zone. Et qui avait son origine dans la zone spéciale. The document lists 17 document traders who are former Law Nol soldiers, soldiers de Nol, and states uh, at the bottom, and with document, your permission, Mr. President, uh, we'd like to put this on the screen. Aussi à uh, at the bottom of this order en bas, is stated, quote, voici ce trouve, je cite, all these 17 persons have been examined by the party, ont été and the par party parti. has decided that they are to be smashed. The comrades are asked to implement this policy of the party. De mettre en œuvre cette politique du parti. End of quote. Fin de citation. The descriptions of the 17 La Lonel soldiers de ces to be smashed, de être most of whom were lieutenants or la lieutenant colonels, des lieutenants is des also revealing. Colonel est également a number of them specifically state eux that all members of that person's family were also traitors. De la famille de ces gens étaient aussi des traitors. Number seven on this list Le was Sisuat. Retaravang, who is described as having, quote, a feudal people betraying lineage, un lineage end of quote. De traître du peuple. The uh, description of uh, number 12 on the list, Prak Le numéro 12, Prak Vanarin, states, Voici la and description I quote, qui en est faite. this contemptible guy wrote a biography criticizing us very strongly, by nature absolutely opposed Il est to the revolution." À la revolution. End of quote. Fin de the uh, next group of documents, Mr. President, I will present uh, are from the first half of Il 1976, la and document E3 slash e one zero one six. I repeat E three slash one zero one six is a five January nineteen seventy six report Rapport du 5 janvier 76. from Division one sixty four Secretary Mutt to Brother eighty nine. The alias for Son Sen. This report is a report on fighting 
C'est un rapport Kotral sur le Island. combat sur l'île de Kotral. And the report is described at the end of the document à la fin as, quote, du document, the monthly report of Unit 164 submitted to Brother by train, end of quote. Soumis aux frères, It makes uh, several references to implementation of decisions de by the party de du parti, and shows the coordination between the center zones and military divisions. divisions In the document, Division ce Secretary Mutt Mut Mut states that he is at Korong Island to, quote, Korong, follow up and help make sure that the decision by the party is effectively parti implemented, effectivement end of quote. He also reports, quote, Il Comrade aussi Chan went to meet Chan brothers Nook, Say, Nook and Say Comrade Kim to Kim execute the decision by the party, party, end of quote. Nope was the secretary Nope of Sector 37, Kokong, province area, dans la province de Korkong, and Say uh, was the alias of Kong Chop at Kang the Chop, time, the secretary of Kompot Sector, Sector 35. Sector 35 the next document Document's is E3, E3 slash 887 that's E3 slash 887 it is a 23 January 1976 telegram to Uncle 89 from 05 who has been identified uh, by witnesses as Sar Saru, the secretary of division 801 This telegram describes attacks by Vietnamese troops and reports that his forces have not fought back because they are still awaiting orders from Ankar. And specifically, paragraph 5 of the telegram, if we may display that, paragraph 5 states, quote, I am organizing the forces while testing and waiting for the final decision from Nous the party. As in party. the above report, Comme I request haut, to attack any place where there are Vietnamese. Une attaque contre tout endroit Continuing later, où se des we have not counterfired even a bullet On while we are waiting, awaiting Anker's advice first. End of quote. And an update is added at the bottom of the telegram, which en bas reads, du telegram, il y a un quote, je at cite, 11 o'clock on this 23rd 11 January 1976, 1976, they sent more troops to attack us again. Pour nous à We have not fought back nous yet. The telegram concludes, I would like to request Le some advice from Uncle immediately. Je demande immédiatement des conseils de la part de l'un des oncles. The next document uh, I would present is document, document suivant. E3 slash 1175. That's E3 slash 1175. It is a 26 February 1976 daily report on the situation relating to CIA enemies. This report discusses two individuals who were detained for interrogation and who during that interrogation identified a brother Kong as being involved with them. En association avec eux. And uh, if we may show this document on the screen, le le the typed report contains two handwritten notes. Deux notes uh, the first of those notes on the upper left-hand margin is signed by gauche, Q, one of the aliases Q, used by Son Sen, par Son and Sen, states, quote, qu trouve, transmit to the organization Ankar for information. End quote. And a handwritten note la at the bottom of this report rapport, requests Ankar to, quote, 
inquire in every department or sector as to whether someone named Khan has been arrested or not. End of quote. The next document, document is E3 slash 923. To repeat, E3 slash 923. And this is a 3 March 1976 report from Chin, the Secretary of Division 920, to Brother 89 which was copied to Brother 87 and to Brother Van, the alias used by Ying Suri. And paragraph two of the section of this report titled Internal Problems concerns reporting to the Center of Arrests and Interrogations and states, quote, I have arrested five people with bad elements. First, they inspired people to flee home. Second, they brought grenades in preparation for smashing vehicles. They have gradually carried out such activities. Seeing that, I am further interrogating them and will send you the file on this case later. End of quote. The next document is E3 slash 1176. That's E3 slash 1176, which is a 16 March 1976 report from Division 310 Secretary Vuen which has a handwritten note at the top stating, quote, to Ankar, to be informed. The, the document begins document with a detailed report on internal enemies, sur les de noting at the end of the fin second paragraph du paragraph, that regiments and battalions have been required to, quote, study site, issues in relation to getting rid of the enemies and unruly type, end of quote. And in paragraph four, uh, towards the end of the document, quatre, document and I'll note that the, the uh, Khmer page ici, here is, is 00021470, and it is the right-hand side of that page. À de cette page. Uh, the following matter uh, is reported by Voici Division Secretary Oon. Quote, an event occurred at Chip Tong factory in Tulkort, according to brothers patrolling at night, they have seen the women at Chak Angre dancing to revolutionary songs adapted to European styled songs of the previous regimes. At the same time, they saw women temps, and men playing with each other. Then they went in pairs into the rooms and eux. turned off the light. Puis, les sont dans une Continuing et later, la quote, based on our Ensuite, observ observation for a period of time, it seems that corruption and, and vice have occurred again. Now I have our brothers secretly watched clearly, then record the voice as proof to submit to Ankar, end of quote. And the incident at the factory that is described here uh, was considered serious enough that there is a handwritten note next to this part of the report that states, quote, please report to Comrade Vorn, referring to Vorn Vett, the Standing Vett, Committee member and member minister responsible for industry. The, document, the next document, Mr. President, document is E3-1162, E3-1162. 
And it is a 26 May 1976 report, rapport du 26 mai 76, uh, also from Division Secretary Un. Du secrétaire de division Un. This document contains a Ce discussion in paragraph 7 au paragraphe of 7 how uh, biographies of division cadres were checked and reported de to the center. Une vérification pour en informer le paragraph 7 states, paragraph 7. quote, in Special Battalion 312, Dans there remain three comrades who still hide their biographies, did not biographies. tell the truth about one of one's own biographies. A, he, in his biography, he said he has not any political tendency, but when investigating his house, we found that his father was a soldier of an ambush unit in Campontom, end of quote. Se à the other two individuals in this paragraph are also reported as having relatives who were soldiers in the previous regime. Mr. President, I may continue, uh, but Monsieur I have a substantial number of documents to present, so I may, may continue tomorrow morning with your leave. Si cela vous sied. President, Le President. Thank you, Merci. Mr. Co-Prosecutor. The time is appropriate for today's adjournment. The court will be adjourned now and we will resume tomorrow morning, matin, commencing from 9 a.m. Security guards are started to take the accused in the back to the detention facility and have him returned to the holding cell downstairs with the facility of audio-visual linked so that he can participate from Ainsi the following up here before 9 a.m. the court is now adjourned.